Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Luke with Premium Aquatics here. Thank you for joining. Hope you guys have a great week and had a wonderful Halloween. Today, we are going to just follow up real quick from the last video on the pH. I mean, if you haven't checked out that video, go back, check it out. Uh, we got the pinpoint pH monitored on the system. Uh, gauge in our pH. Um, we got the CO2 scrubber that I removed off the skimmer to test to see where my pH went and that's what we're going to look at today. So let's get to it. Let's check it out. So if you remember, like I said, uh, we took off the CO2 scrubber off of the skimmer to see what the pH did. Because I was testing with Salifert, it was a little bit hard to gauge where exactly it was. So last week, or two weeks ago, we tested it. We were at 8.2 on the pH. So I removed the CO2 scrubber off of the skimmer and let it go. So basically, we're looking at one and a half, two-ish weeks here um, that I haven't had it on. So where's the pH, you ask? Good question. It is actually at 7.2. 0.93. We've been going at 7.9, almost 7.95 uh, for the last week now. So it has significantly dropped. I don't know exactly what day it dropped, but it definitely has gone down uh, 0.2, a little over 0.2. So let me hook it back up to skimmer. I'll give it a little bit of time, see what it does. We'll come back here. Hold on. All right. So we're about four or five hours since I plugged in the CO2 scrubber back into the skimmer. I cleaned the skimmer out, I uh, made everything nice and new, but we're about four or five hours in, and as you can tell here, we are at 8.03, 8.04. Uh, so we can obviously see we are getting an increase. This was um, there even earlier before this started happening, but it's definitely going up. And we know this is gonna be climbing up because if you remember from the last video, we were getting, I think, 8.17, 8.18, somewhere in that range, and it hit 8.2 um, throughout the week. So after I pulled and disconnected it, um, we definitely dropped, uh, like showed earlier, 7.93, somewhere in that range. So it's definitely doing work. We know the CO2 scrubber is doing what it's supposed to. It's raising the pH, keeping it stable. Um, as the day goes on and the weekend goes on, this is gonna keep going up probably to settle in at 8.2 again. And it's gonna stay there until the media starts exhausting completely and then we'll have to change it out. But a great way to keep your pH up and stable without having to go to additives and that sort of thing. So I would highly recommend it. Go check it out. I'll put a link in the description as well uh, for the pinpoint monitor. Obviously you can use any pH monitor, but uh, this one is doing very well for me just to keep tabs on it. I'll give a link to the CO2 scrubber as well for you, different models, so you can figure out what is best suited for your system and go from there. So that's it for today. Nice and sweet. Wanted to give you an update though on the CO2 scrubber. It's really important, especially with what it does for our system and keeping that pH up and stable uh, and the new information that's coming out on pH in our tanks and how everything's reacting and making things happy. So definitely go check it out as well as keep tabs. I've mentioned it before, but Thanksgiving is coming up. That means Black Friday, Cyber Monday, tons of sales. We're doing giveaways. Make sure to sign up for the Premium Aquatics Newsletter. It's on the front page of our website down at the bottom. Just enter your email, hit subscribe, I think it says, and you'll get our newsletters. And uh, you can't argue that. You'll be notified of sales, new products that are coming out, things that are going on, giveaways, all the good stuff. So make sure to go sign up for that. Keep tabs on the videos we'll put out. As always, have a great, safe, happy, healthy weekend, and I'll catch you in a few short weeks. Peace.